Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Signs here. I hope everybody's well. I'm throwing them down this morning. I'm just gonna get, start the August cycle. Do as many as I can today. Do as many as I can every day until it's done. People keep blowing up my phone, but that's okay. I'm busy, so I will address that later. If it pings too many times, I may have to pause, just so you know, because, well, I deal with a lot of people every day. <laughs> I have a full-time job, I have a family, it is what it is. I do what I can. Who's next? I never know because whoever, whatever sign that we're currently in always goes first and whoever was first last time always goes last. So, okay. I just did Leo. I just kind of mix up the other 10 so I never know. Fire! Sagittarius, you are up. All right. Fire! I love saying it. I just love saying it. Gets me all fired up. All right. Okay. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. I'm a Sag Sun, so this is always fun. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. I promise I will try not to energetically vomit all over the reading. I'm pulling out of the universe. If it resonates, it resonates. Okay. Check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody is always welcome at my table. And I appreciate you stopping by to hang out. Very cool of you. What would it be even cooler of you if you like what you see? Mm and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you really like what you see, hit the like button. It all helps the channel and it is greatly appreciated, really from the bottom of my heart. I want this channel to grow. We're about a little over two years old at this point. So this is going to be our year here at Fireside and Tarot. Okay. Before I do the invocation, let's see who tried to pop out. Three of Pentacles tried to pop out. We'll see if it pops out. Before we do the invocation and throw your cards down, there's a couple things we go over. One, again, I'm a sad son. I'm a great big personality. And I'm a lot to take in. I'm just warning you now. I come with a warning label. I don't sugarcoat. I read what I read. I see what I see. It is what it is. It cannot... It can't always be sugar blossoms and unicorns and, and beautiful stuff. That's not life. It's not the journey. Okay. Before I do the invocation. One. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It is not a good idea. And that's any reader. I don't care if you're watching YouTube or if you're in the back room of an esoteric shop somewhere you have free will and I encourage you to exercise it wisely if something's going to completely fuck up your universe go inside sort it out for yourself you don't have to listen to me or the cards two if it's not your reading not your story not your message leave the cards on the table and walk away take what belongs to you if you so choose if it resonates you can take it with you if it doesn't resonate, leave it on the table. Don't make it fit. Because that's what wreaks havoc on your life. Okay? Alright. Don't put red flags on the lawn if they don't need to be there. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Archangels, ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you. I thank you for the gift that I've been given. And I ask that you give me clarity to as accurately as possible bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good put them in their highest possible spiritual path Sagittarius why are you here the tower
I'm gonna pause and brew a cup of coffee. Give me just a minute. So I'm gonna light up some sage. <laughs> Brewed my coffee. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we have a tower. All a tower really means, before anybody panics, and no, I'm not panicking, I just, I need it a minute. It's change. It's sudden. It's abrupt. And I've said it a thousand times. The tower spares no one. You can hold it up for as long as you want. Either it comes down, but the longer you fight it, the universe eventually brings it down. That's a lightning strike. That's the finger of God. That's what I call it. It's the finger of God card. Change has come. And change usually comes for the better. So, Sagittarius friends, let's continue. What happened? The moon reversed. Things became illuminated. There was a sudden realization. Okay. A light on the path. The fog lifted. Seven of Cups, card of options, card of paths. Which cup do I choose? Do I or don't I? Okay. Five of Wands, conflict. State of conflict. You're in a tussle with somebody. Okay. Future. Will of Fortune reversed. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Well, the future looks bright. I'm not sure about this Wheel of Fortune reversed, but usually indicates a return of some kind. Did the conflict bring on the tower, or did the tower bring on the conflict? What came first, the chicken or the egg? That's what we're going to find out. All right, we're going to set this aside. Let's get the energy of the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Universe source, spirit and guides. Can I get the energy? The person Sagittarius is dealing, please. Queen of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> Things may not be as they seemed. Ace of Wands. Striking of the match. Six of Pentacles reverse things not being even.
four of swords laying something to rest, recovering from a heartbreak. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Might be an apology. Might be an offer. Empress reversed. Something not growing. Okay. Let's get clarity, Sag. Let's get clarity. Change is not bad. Towers are not bad. They're not. Towers fall for a reason. They do. Towers fall because they were meant to. Towers fall because they were meant to and something is meant to be built in their place. It's not like it stays empty space forever. Right? That's right. Can I get clarity on the tower, please? Sage still burning, indeed it is. Okay. Five of Swords reversed. Things happening behind closed doors, perhaps? Nine of Wands reversed. Walls tumbling down. Someone throwing in the towel on something. defeat. It's defeat. The tower has something to do with a defeat. Possibly for some of you. Why is the moon reversed here? Why is the moon reversed here? Death. Death cycle. Things being illuminated. It coming to life, coming to light. That something needed to come to a close for something new to begin. One more. Holy shit, Zadge. Empress. the mommy wifey card it's the this could be someone you have children with this could involve a pregnancy something coming to light about a pregnancy I don't know I don't know she popped out I don't know something becoming clear hmm okay why is seven of cups here 
Nine of Cups. <sighs> Page of Cups. Someone off to find their tenth cup. Which one of these cups? Give me the tenth cup I'm looking for. <clears throat> Maybe you had nine. Someone came in to offer you the tenth one and you weren't sure if you should have taken it. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Moon and Karma. If this is resonating, this has something to do with the moon. Could have been the eclipse, could have been the new moon. I mean, it's present. There's combativeness going on. There's arguing, there's fighting. Something to do with the moon. Could have just recently happened with the new moon we just had. And Could have something to do with secrets. Could have something to do with someone wanting to close something out and the other person not wanting to. It's... Wow. You wanting to know the truth or the person you're dealing with wanting to know the truth. Wow. Okay, before we get into the future, we're going to quickly go over the person that you're dealing with. Opposing the Tower, we have a Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Four of Wands reversed. That's my minor arcana tower mirroring each other. It's tumbling down. This foundation is not steady. One more. Eight of Pentacles. It has something to do with work. Work, job, money, energy. Six of Pentacles. Trying to keep things even, putting energy into it. And it's not building, it's not steady. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's not satisfied. Somebody feels like they've been giving and giving and giving, but they're not satisfied. They're, they're feeding an unsteady foundation. Eight of Cups, somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away. That's four swords here. Getting over heartbreak. Things being laid to rest. 
Four swords. It's one's reversed. Mash isn't striking. Not taking any action right now, just laying things to rest. Could be someone wants to walk away and they're not quite ready to walk away yet. Four of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's the energy of wanting to hang on, but wanting to walk away at the same time. It's like they're still hanging on to something. What? King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, King Upright, Queen Reversed. Somebody wants to hang on. Moment. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I had to take a phone call. Um, so, where were we? Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Seven of Wands. Internal struggles about a new start. Three of Wands, no longer wanting to wait, getting sick of waiting. Waiting for what? Oh, Queen of Cups, emotion. Emotion. It says something to do with emotions. Love. Internal struggles. No longer wanting to wait for emotion. Someone to express emotion. Striking matches, striking matches. New starts. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Knight of Swords. King of Wands. Wow. Two of Pentacles. It's like decision time. Someone weighing options. Things aren't even. Six of Pentacles reversed. Communication isn't even. Sugar and spice and all things nice aren't even. Trying to keep things even. Tried to level things out. No longer waited for emotion. Weighing options. Weighing options. You guys are mirroring the hell out of each other right now. Oh my god. What kind of Jerry Springer crap is this? Page of Swords, Eight of Wands. This happened very quickly. This was quick communication. This is like a sudden breakdown. Like out of nowhere. I feel like for some... The tower, hello. This came out of nowhere. But did the towers really come out of nowhere? I mean, you usually... If you're far enough back and there's enough open space to see, you can see a storm coming. I don't know why they call it the card of sudden change because... you. Towers take a minute. Things have to build up. Tension has to build up to make ground shake. Even though sudden shifts really aren't that sudden. It was a build up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's move into the future. 
Sagittarius, you have a Wheel of Fortune reversed here. The star. The healing after the tower. Number 16. Number 17. The star is coming in with this Wheel of Fortune reverse. The Wheel of Fortune reverse is a card return. You can't turn back a clock. You can't. But you can heal. There's potential here. This is a card of an apology. I don't know who did what to who. I was not there. This is seriously something off a talk show. Seriously. This is like Geraldo Rivera, Jerry Springer. Closed door shit. People getting sick of stuff. I, it, it, I wasn't there. One more. One more on the Wheel of Fortune reversed. I see an opportunity for a return and a healing here. Justice, leveling of the playing field. And leveling of the scales. The mighty sword cutting things out that need to be cut out. Justice comes in after there's been injustice. But I see you becoming independent. Let's address this. Let's address this page of pentacles down here first. Why the page of pentacles here? Or reversed. I think whoever you're dealing with, you know, even though they walked away, we were already addressed it. They didn't want to let go. The new match that they, you know, set off to strike didn't strike. Somebody decided to Hang back, wait a minute, let's just go into rest mode. Sometimes we have to go into those rest modes after places of conflict. To heal, do what we need to do. Okay. Okay. One more. Nine of Pentacles. Card of Independence. This is at very least a clearing of the air. This is at very least, okay, we're going to come back. We're going to talk about this. We're, we won't necessarily rebuild a tower. At this point. I mean, and this is the recent. Recent, not so distant future. How about that? Not so distant future. They may decide, that, yes, I'll extend the olive branch, but ultimately I need to be independent of this. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Why the Nine of Pentacles on your side? Four of Swords. Deciding to be independent yourself. Laying it to rest yourself. Allowing that healing process to begin after the scales have leveled. And this mighty sort of justice that cut the things out that need to be cut out. Towers fall for a reason. King of Cups. The emotion's always going to be there. You're always going to feel very deeply for this person. You may not always show it. But you will feel very deeply for this person. 
the love is always going to be there. Okay. Why the Empress reversed for their side. Queen of Pentacles upright. That is like the sweetest thing I've ever heard. One more. Ten of Swords reversed. Wow. Four more. Nine of Wands. Talk show special. There's no hope for growth. They know it. They acknowledge it. But they don't want to end it. They still want to move forward with it. They do what they don't. They do what they don't. They enjoy their independence, but they want to move forward. Or they st still think very highly of you, with this Queen of Pentacles. More highly than they did. But they know it's not going to grow. One more. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a headache. I am getting a headache. Temperance. King of Swords. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. The, at the very least, the energies between you will be more balanced. And you'll be able to sit down and have an honest, non-emotional, non-confrontational conversation. There's a lot of conflict here. A freaking tower fell on the ground for crying out loud. But towers are necessary. The falling of the tower makes way for what is supposed to be built. And they're not always bad. They're painful. They're chaotic. In the moment. In the moment. You have to get through the moment. Because that's all it is. In the grand scheme of the earth existence you're going to go through, you're going to have a ton of moments. And you have to embrace the painful ones as much as you embrace the not so painful ones. Because the painful ones are the ones that teach you something. Those are the ones you're supposed to learn from. It's shitty, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Alright. Nine of Wands. Two of Wands. And the Ace of Cups. Don't let this moment destroy you. But you do need to take your time. You need to rest. You need to let the moment pass. And when you're ready, rise back up. Let go of the past and move forward with the cup that the universe has in store for you. Oh my gosh, another ace of cups. Okay. Just be mindful of the path that you take. King of Pentacles, know your worth. Know your worth. Absolutely know your worth. And accept nothing less. There's something abundant and wonderful coming for you. Honest conversations. Honest conversations. Be clear. Be direct. And be honest. With yourself and the people around you. And when you're ready, rebuild the tower. We rebuild it your way. Where you want to build, how you want to build. 
Okay. Sag, I'm checking out. Mm. This kicked my ass. I'm going to go. This has been your August reading. Let me know if it resonated. I know it was a little chaotic. I have a feeling that some of you are going through some chaos still. It's been a chaotic couple of months for Sagittarius. I feel that on a soul level. But I got to rise and grind and not mess up my shit. And I'll be on to the next. But know that you love be blessed. Thanks for coming by. And I will catch you next time. Because there's always a next time.